The Learning Community Innovation Zone operates under the Office of First Year Programs and Learning Communities within UConn's Institute for Student Success. At just under 1,500 square feet, the LCIZ is located on the lower level of UConn's newest residence hall, the Peter J. Worth Residence Tower. Since opening in the fall of 2016, we have continuously grown and evolved to accommodate our creative and innovative student project. Hey everyone, my name is Cody Ryan and I'm the supervisor of the Learning Community Innovation Zone here at the University of Connecticut. Here at UConn, we love our long titles, but we love shortening them even more. So you may hear of our space being referred to as the LCIZ Makerspace, or more simply as just the LCIZ. Today, I'm gonna to give you a brief tour of our space just so you can get a, a sense of what we have to offer. So come on in and let's take a look around. So safety is our main priority here in the Learning Community Innovation Zone. So we always ensure that our students have the proper personal protective equipment or PPE, such as our safety glasses, hair ties, and we always ensure that they're wearing closed toed shoes when they come into the space as well. Let's head on over to our laser ring. So our laser engraver offers an awesome opportunity for our students to work on their design, to work on their prototyping. Um, it's a really precise work that it actually creates. Anything from engraving two-dimensionally, such as our puzzle up here on our wall that you can cut through, or we try to make our students go more in-depth and start creating three-dimensional work, such as our little gazebo here that started off as a flat piece of wood. Uh, a lot of design went into this to make sure that all the pieces fit together so that it actually creates our three-dimensional product here. So the laser engraver again just offers a lot of precise work um, and you can use materials such as acrylic, wood, all the way down to felt, fabric, and even paper and the paper won't actually burn. A lot of people think that that's gonna be a fire hazard but using the proper settings and safety you're good to go. I do want to give a shout out to a couple of our corporate partners. Stanley Black & Decker gave us a donation which allowed us to put together our tool cart here. They gave us a donation of various hand tools as well as power tools. Um, and those are used on the daily here when we're in operations in the LCIC. Henkel, who oversees the Loctite brand, uh, has uh, donated this awesome adhesives cart. So we have everything from industrial adhesives here down to your common glues and tapes and um, basic adhesives as well. So thank you to Henkel and Loctite for our awesome cart here. So let's head on into our woodworking area. So our woodworking area does offer our students an opportunity to get more involved with our uh, tools that require a little bit more attention to detail. That's going to include our miter saws, the band saw, table saw. Um, we also have our sander over here and our drill press. So projects will include anything from our long boards that students have been making down to furniture such as our drill press cart. Um, our students designed and built this cabinet for our drill press here, as you can see. So let's head on back out of this woodworking space and we'll go on over to our vinyl cutting. Our vinyl cutter offers an opportunity for students to create decals, to create um, design, even stenciling for art projects. Uh, working with the vinyl cutter, they get a sense of how to create different graphics or logos that they can actually adhere to walls or materials as they go forward. Laptop stickers are a really common thing to be made here as well. So moving on to our computer station, this offers our students an opportunity to do their 3D modeling or just basic graphic design, um, which they can also take on over to our 3D print station. So our 3D printers, uh, most people do associate 3D printing with makerspaces. We do have an array of 3D printers here. This offers our students an opportunity to explore different materials, different designs, and be able to make their creations come from an idea straight to reality as well. Coming around our corner, we do have our electronic station. So anything from basic circuitry to learning how to solder. Um, we're also playing around with microcontrollers and microcomputers such as Raspberry Pi and Arduino. And we're hoping to get more into robotics as we go forward as well. So that's a great opportunity for our students to explore electronics. Continuing down our table here, we do have our textile station. Our textile station consists of our heat press, our various sewing machines that we have. We do have knitting and leather punching as well and hand sewing. So that offers our students an opportunity to explore various types of textiles um, as they're trying to create their uh, different prototypes and different projects as well. Coming down to our virtual reality station, um, another shout out to our partner um, Synchrony who is able to donate the HTC Vive. 
The virtual reality station allows our students to explore um, different realms, being able to take their prototypes and see what it would look like in various settings, even you know hopping into maps and being able to see what it might look like in different areas around the globe. So it's kind of an awesome idea for them to be able to explore as well. So walking on through, we have our basic um, our arts and crafts area, or our basic rapid prototype materials. That's going to include our paints, our scissors, your hot glue guns, staplers, etc. Um, we do have some books and magazines for project ideas to help inspire some of our students as they're creating their projects going forward as well. So whether it be through coming in during our open hours, attending one of our students' student-led Skillshare sessions, enrolling in one of our Intro to Making courses, or participating in one of our larger events, such as Hack Yukon, the Women in Making Forum, or the Baker Fair, the LCIZ provides students, faculty, and staff a hands-on learning environment that encourages creativity, innovative design, prototyping, collaboration, problem solving, entrepreneurship, and of course, fun. We look forward to seeing what you will make here in the LCIZ. See you soon.